Another adventure. I've got a good, quite a good one planned today that I'm quite excited about. I'm going to walk around the headland over there, and there's a scramble overlooking the A55 on the, the other side of that that leads up onto the top of these. And then I'm going to fly, probably fly from there back down onto the beach and back to the car. I'm just coming round the headland now, making my way for a tunnel that goes under the railway. You can probably hear through the camera and it's really windy. And if the wind stays like this, I don't think I'll be flying. So I'm here, I've made it to the tunnel. And now making my way over to the scramble. At the moment, if I turn around, you see there are a lot of grey clouds over there. Those clouds are looking really ominous. Uh, the wind's picked up again. But out to sea over there, it looks really nice. And so the wind is going in that direction. So those clouds should pass. And hopefully by the time I get to the top, I've timed it right. And that patch of clear, hopefully calm, the sky will arrive. And now I've got the poles, walking poles out again. And I can fly up to the top. And then hopefully flying. I can drop it down and have to shout now in the wind. And so I really hope this does pass. I'll get calm conditions. But it's gusty. At the moment, it's not flyable. down behind a rock or something for a while and see what happens. I've just come over the top of the hill onto the lee side. It's really lovely up here out of the wind and you can just see over there in the distance on the hills there. It's raining over there. Uh, it looked like it maybe hit Colburn Bay and Brill in the bay over there. The rain came over um, but I'm hearing reports that it's raining over Wrexham way as well. So, if I manage to pull this off, I'll be really lucky. Um, you can see the sun's just breaking through the clouds there now. Um, so I'm just gonna wait. Wait for these clouds to pass over and for that blue sky to become the dominant weather feature. Uh, the blue skies are here. Tide's really coming in, and so my window of opportunity is getting smaller and smaller. Um, so I've unpacked. I was hoping that soon a lull will come and I can fly down. Okay, so we've switched to helmet cam here, but you can hear that the wind is still pouring through. I've waited at the top for about an hour in the beach. My only real landing options got smaller and smaller and smaller as the tide comes in. It's getting to the point where it really is kind of now or never. If I don't manage to take off now, then I will have missed the beach landing. Um, I've waited as long as I can. Um, the wind's still really strong though. Uh, I've tried flaking out the wing a couple of times, but the wind is just... Before, as soon as the, the wing leaves the ground I'm just getting pulled along the floor and further and further towards the back of the hill and so the best thing to do now is probably to pack up and walk away but I know if I do that uh, I look back on this with frustration and you can see that the wing dances around a little but suggests that the moving air is quite turbulent um, but the wing opens up and to surprise, my surprise don't get jolted forwards so it's a promising sign so at this point I have to at least try. 
Sometimes I pull up and the wing comes up straight, but immediately I'm lifted off the ground before I've had a chance to turn. Uh, and in fact, the momentum spins me in the wrong direction. But I've had this happen a few times before, so I just calmly wait until gravity pulls me the right way around, and it's no drama really. Um, but I come around and suddenly I'm just going straight up like a rocket. Uh, I don't seem to be making any forwards progress. If anything, I'm going backwards, which isn't good. But I'm high enough now. Um, let go of the controls and get into the harness and I check where I am in relation to the top of the cliff. If I get swept much further back and I expect I'll hit really bad turbulence where the wind spins over the top of the cliff. And so that's an absolute no-go danger zone as far as I'm concerned at this minute. And so I've got my foot on the speed bar which should help me to penetrate this headwind and get away from the power band at the top of the hill. It works uh, and I'm making forwards progress and given the wind strength and the quickly disappearing beach I decide not to mess around and to get down as quickly as safely as possible. Uh, my brain switches into assessing the landings. So my options are the car park, the beach in front of the car park or the beach over to the left. When I come into land I have to do it head on into the wind uh, otherwise anything else and you add the wind's force, the speed of the wind to your ground speed as you come into land. Um, so you need to be head on into the wind to slow down your ground speed. From here the beach over to my left looks like it would give me the longest runway. Landing here I risk of flying the beach and ending up in the sea. And the problem I face with the beach though is that when I was walking around the headland earlier I noticed that the wind was being massively accelerated around this corner um, so I ruled that out as being too dangerous so whatever happens here uh, I've got to get past the A55 the caravan site is off limits uh, and so is the golf course so I'm back looking at the beach the original beach and the car park again the car park though is a definite no so between the car park and the beach there's a sand dune that's big enough to create all kinds of rotor and turbulence behind it. Um, so landing in the car park would probably mean a crash and what with potential traffic and other people I rule it out and turn my attentions back to the beach. The problem with the beach though is that there's quite a steep slope here so as I come into land I'd have to be flying high enough to not hit the golf course and then be able to drop and lose altitude quickly enough I then land on the beach without overrunning the beach and ending up in the sea. And given that the wind's quite strong at this moment I think it's probably doable and at this point is my best option. Still better than risking going into the even stronger winds that are getting funneled around that corner. So here you can see that my feet are right out in front of me pulling down on the front edge of the wing to reduce the angle and make progress into this headwind easier. Whatever happens, I've got to make it to the beach. And then, I spot this bit of beach over here. That looks much better than my current chosen landing area, as it gives me a much longer runway when facing into the wind. It looks narrow from here though, and I'm not sure I can make the distance in the current wind. In relation to the headwind though, it's not that far forward, and in fact, the wind is slightly off to my left, so the wind will probably help me to get over there. I decide to go for it. I come off the speed bar and start making my way over to the right. Now, just to interject for a moment, you're kind of paragliding, you're coming down no matter what, you're going to land somewhere. Uh, so it's nice to be able to pause this video and talk about the thought processes that go on. But when it's happening in real time, it's a, it's a different experience altogether. It's like your brain's in that fight or flight mode. You just it steps up a gear. I imagine it's a bit like being in a car doing 70 miles per hour. Up and up ahead, you see that the traffic is stopped in the road. So you hit the brakes and you realize actually your brakes aren't working. At this point, you can't just stop the car and get out. You're inevitably hurtling towards the other traffic. And so you ask yourself, you know, should you swing left? Should you swing right? Your brain kind of switches into overdrive as you weigh up your options about which type of crash is going to produce the best outcome. 
So this is the bit of beach that drew me over here, but now that I'm here, I start considering this strip instead. It looks a bit rocky, and so if possible, I'd rather not land there. Um, but I'll wait until I get closer and weigh up the options then. Um, the closer I get, the better the Pebble Beach looks. So I've chosen my crash zone at this point, and I start to relax and enjoy the view. Not for long though, because other dangers are now presenting themselves, as well as other options. I'm looking down at the whirlpools and the Conway estuary, and I'm thinking I don't want to be in those. And I also note a possible landing on the other side of the estuary, however, that would mean a long walk back to the car. So I must be a bit more relaxed at this point now if I'm weighing up which landing would have the shortest walk afterwards. I'm getting closer to that oncoming traffic now, so it's time to focus. I'm looking at the estuary here just in case I do end up in it and it looks like there's a strong current down the middle so I want to avoid that if possible. So this is it. I've chosen my landing area and I'm coming down. So I need to make sure I get in front of the jetty though which in this wind is improving easy, so I get back on the speed bar. I fly left and right to try and lose some height without overshooting the length of my runway. So the timing of my turns now are critical. If I turn too tightly then I'll drop out of the sky quite quickly. And at this moment I haven't made it past the jetty, so I try to do long, lazy turns and keep the wing as flat as possible to maintain my altitude. I'm still too high at this point though, so I go out over the estuary. This is going to be my last turn before I land. The timing of this one is crucial. So at this rate, I'm going to be in the estuary. So I initiate a tighter turn. I get my feet out and ready to land. Get back over the beach and straighten up. I've done it. So the beach is less rocky than I'd expected and in fact there's a nice sandy bit to the left so let's go and land over there. And I'm down safely so I'll hand you back over to the live audio. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, as soon as I came off the top, I was really dubious. I was thinking, oh, is this a bad idea? Should I be doing this? And as soon as I got the wing up above me, I just went up and up and up and up. It's like, ah, no, I'm getting lifted over the back of the hill. This was a bad idea. But once I got the speed bar on and got away from the lift, that lift band on the hill and kind of came out, uh, I was going to land on the beach by the car park where I'd originally planned, but the beach looked it was getting smaller and smaller and smaller and so I decided against that and just managed to kind of come and find this little strip here that was facing into the wind and had a really nice landing so we've got a little bit of a walk back to the car but it's not far but oh that was awesome <laughs> I flew down off there oh look at the beach now oh I was lucky to get away with that I didn't think that was going to happen. I was so on the verge of packing up and giving up, but I waited it out and waited it out. And oh, maybe I've just been lucky, but I'm so glad I've done that. That was brilliant. <laughs> oh, I'm so lucky that everything came together on that. Oh, awesome. up there and we go and play around 
and just have a long flight up there rather than the top to bottom and hopefully land back on the top right it's a bit like I've just eating the cherries and the icing and now I'm going to eat the rest of the, the fruitcake um, so I don't know how much of this I'll video uh, the Conway Mountain and back to the beach was the highlight of the day so I'm just going to go and play up there and hopefully stay in the air for a couple of hours and then get back down in time to pick the kids up from school me to get back. Time for the school. Signing off.